Good day and welcome to Renee Learn Point TV. We are here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to change your outlook on life for the better. A lot of us go through life feeling down, or like we're not good enough. But I'm here to tell you that you can change that. If you follow my tips and tricks, you'll be feeling like a brand new person in no time. So let's get started. Improved personal outlook is the result of your positive attitude and strong work ethic. You have high standards for yourself and always strive to meet your goals. You are confident and always ready to take on new challenges. You are a role model for others and always set the example. You are always growing and learning, and your positive attitude and strong work ethic are a big part of your success. Accepting to get an improved personal outlook. Can you accept the things that can be changed and the things that can't be changed? Can you acknowledge the needs of other people while understanding that you may be able to support them while others change them? Do you accept that you're who you are, regardless of what other people believe about you? Are you willing to accept the many changes that take place in your life? If you are privileged enough to admit to either of these questions, then you've already gone the beginning of improving your personal life. If you are willing to spend time on it, you will be ready to laugh no matter what happens. As an example, if some person pushed you, you might be able to take a step back and smile. The threat is merely for your emotion, which you will see and accept, and then you will figure out how to regain control of the situation. When you can accept things in life, including you and others you find a way to take control. When you are in control, it helps you to see how you can improve your personal life. When you learn to accept you will learn to discover you. Personal Identity Personal identity is an effect of individuality, and social philosophers provide an incomplete account of the matter. The idea that we act the same way along every observable vector impacts identity is socially incorrect. Emotions, thoughts, acts, physical reactions, and bodily influences compose a human being. Every day we experience something new which impacts our personality and causes it to change. Therefore, when you see someone laughing one minute and crying the next, you are seeing a shift in emotions, which is a normal pattern of identity for this person. Unless the person's eyes change, behaviors usually remain the same. We are constantly bombarded with images and messages that can desensitize us to the reality of the world around us. It is important to be aware of the influences of television, the media, radio, and other sources on our everyday lives. We all make judgments about others at some point, but we need to be accepting of that fact. We cannot change the way these people think or behave, but we can change our own. This is part of learning and accepting. Dealing with the world. The best way to deal with the world is to become your own influence and allow other influences to make someone else's life miserable. Only rely on sources that prove truthful with their actions, behaviors and words. Positive reflections can have a significant impact on our overall happiness. When we take the time to reflect on the positive aspects of our lives, we are more likely to feel happier and more content. Additionally, Positive reflections can help us to see the silver lining in difficult situations and to appreciate the good in our lives. If you can learn to accept things, you'll find it much easier to laugh about them, even if they're things that initially made you mad. For example, if someone does something to annoy you, try to see the funny side of it. And if you make a mistake yourself, don't get too upset about it, just see it as another opportunity to laugh at the human condition. How to improve personal life. The ability to reframe negative thoughts into positive ones is a useful tool that can help improve one's life. When faced with a difficult situation, instead of dwelling on the negative aspects, reframing allows an individual to see the potential for growth and improvement. This positive outlook can then guide them to take actions that will improve their life. 
When you are feeling down and like you want to harm yourself, it is important to remember to love yourself. Your worth is not defined by your mistakes or how others see you, but by your own opinion of yourself. So take a deep breath and remind yourself that you are perfect just the way you are. Thinking positive. Thinking positive is a great start to improving overall personal life. When individuals have a positive outlook, they are more likely to take on challenges and view them as opportunities for growth. Furthermore, positive thinking has been linked with better physical health and increased longevity. So, if you are looking to improve your personal life, start by thinking positive. Pamper yourself every day. In order to lead a happy and fulfilling life, it is important to focus on the positive aspects of your life and pamper yourself on a daily basis. This means taking care of yourself emotionally and mentally, as well as physically. It is also important to let go of negative thoughts and emotions that can bring you down. Instead, focus on the things in life that make you happy and appreciate the good moments. The past is gone, forget it. This is a very simplistic way of looking at things and does not take into account the complexities of human nature. Blame no one for your misfortune. Misfortune is a part of life and everyone experiences it at some point. It is not productive to blame others for your own misfortune. Build courage to improve your personal life. Building courage can help you take risks that you ordinarily would not take. This could lead to a brighter future, as you'll be more likely to seize opportunities that come your way. Of course, it's important to be mindful of the risks you take. Not every opportunity will be a good fit, and some risks may not pay off. But if you can learn to build courage, you'll be in a much better position to take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. Courage is the ability to confront your fears and take action despite them. It takes courage to face your fears and work through them instead of letting them control you. It is normal to feel fear at certain times, but it is how you deal with those fears that makes the difference. Courage is about finding a way to overcome your fears and not letting them hold you back. There is nothing wrong with having healthy fear in your life. In fact, it can be helpful in keeping you safe from harm. The problem occurs when unhealthy fear takes over and prevents you from living your life to the fullest. Here's an example, let's say you're walking down the street and you see a bus heading towards you. If you have a healthy fear of being hit by the bus, you'll quickly move out of its path. However, if you have an unhealthy fear of the bus, you may freeze up and not be able to move, even though doing so would save your life. So how can you tell the difference between healthy and unhealthy fear? Healthy and unhealthy fear. Healthy fear is based on accurate perceptions of potential threats and is accompanied by physiological changes that help prepare the body for action. Unhealthy fear on the other hand, is based on inaccurate perceptions of threat or exaggerated perceptions of danger. It can also be accompanied by physical symptoms such as sweating, accelerated heart rate, and hyperventilation. When you develop courage, you will learn how to better direct yourself in life. You will become more accepting of both punishments and rewards, and will be motivated to take on blame and responsibility when reviewing your actions. This will allow you to learn from your mistakes and move forward in a positive direction. Competence leading to improved personal outlook. In order to improve one's personal life, it is necessary to find the competence to take control. Our life is our personal way and, as such, we must be in control of it in order to improve it. This means that we must be competent in all areas of our life, from our relationships to our finances. Once we have found this competence, we can then begin to take control of our life, and make the changes necessary for improvement. 
there are many experts in the world who can help you achieve success in life. These experts can be inner coaches, counselors, or other professionals who can help you overcome difficulties and achieve your goals. You have many options and resources available to you, so don't hesitate to seek out help when you need it. With the right support, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. How to use competence. Competence is the ability to do something well. It is not something that you are born with, but something that you earn through learning and practice. To build competence, you must first learn the basics of whatever it is you want to be competent at. Once you have mastered the basics, you can then begin to practice and hone your skills. With enough practice, you will eventually become competent at whatever it is you set out to do hence you are on to an improved personal outlook. A person with competence will take what they learn and use it to solve different situations in their life. They will make what they learn second to the first nature they intend to acquire. A competent person always sees the new light at the end of each tunnel. They are always willing to learn, and they take what they learn and apply it to new situations. A competent person is someone who is able to adapt and learn new things quickly. An improved personal outlook is surely yours as you try. In conclusion, if you want to get an improved personal outlook, it is important to focus on yourself and your own happiness. You should do things that make you happy and that make you feel good about yourself. It is also important to surround yourself with positive people who will support and encourage you. Achieving an improved personal outlook vary by individual, but the study's authors found that participants who engaged in 30 minutes of daily self-affirmation for 30 days experienced significant improvements in mood, anxiety, stress, and depressed mood. And the group who engaged in yoga exercises reported feeling happier and more content than those who did not. Finally, don't be afraid to make changes in your life, Sometimes a fresh start is exactly what you need to feel better about yourself and your situation. An improved personal outlook is just a glance away. The End We have come to the end of the today's video presentation. Please join us again in our next video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. For more interesting articles, please visit our website, zinnisgetaword.com. You will be happy did. Thanks for watching and goodbye.